Laid back Mickey here. Today we are going to talk about being safe on the road and how to be safe while riding your recumbent trike. Recumbent trikes are really safe and a lot of people go like, are they safe as a bike? Well, I would say they're even safer because on a recumbent trike, they're a little wider, so they're easier to be seen. And some people go, well, how about the height? Some of the trikes I see that are pretty low. Well, the cool thing is you can get a flag like you see here and behind me uh, that will actually be higher than the trike. The neat thing is, let me kind of show you this here. A trike is about three feet with the headrest. And then once you add the flag, you're about five feet. So you're about five feet high, and some of these flags can go even higher. Right now, we're just using a short little stem on this flag, but you can use like a two foot stem or a three foot stem, and you can get it up there as like six, seven, eight feet high. So they're really safe as far as that goes. But you also wanna be safe on the road. When I was riding as a young kid, I'm probably about 15, 16 years old. I remember I see, I see the red light turn to green and I'm just gonna ride through it. Well, the thing is I'm riding and there is a car that is about to turn and they don't recognize me. They don't see me. And so what I wish I had back then, which I have on my trike now, is an air sound horn, which is like this here. And then a loud, <laughs> a loud, loud 115 dB sound, which would alerted the car to look at me. And that's what you wanna be. You wanna be a defensive rider because you wanna always be looking out for who, you know, do you see their eyeballs when you're out on the road? And also when you're on the bike trail, you know, stay in your lane, stay in your lane and don't drift into somebody else's lane. You know, if you're riding side by side, make sure to always be looking forward. So if you see somebody coming, that you guys get back into single file because otherwise, you're gonna make somebody crash. You don't wanna do that. Did you guys know that 80% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to the Laid Back Cycles channel? Go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell next to it and you'll get all the cool videos that are coming up that will tell you everything you ever wanna know about trikes. When do cars see me? Well, with, with a flag, they'll see you probably about 10 seconds before they come up on you. But a cool thing is, is if you're if the car is uh, really far away, like uh, you know quarter mile, half mile away, if you have something bright like a light, that will make them see you much further away than a flag. And so you want to start being seen right away. So like this is a 90 lumen light. I use on my trike a 350 lumen, so three to 350, super bright, which can be seen in the daytime. So you want to be seen whether it's a flag waving or whether it's a bright light, you want to be seen from behind. And then when you're going through stop signs and stop lights, you want to be looking at their eyeballs and you want to have an air sound. So, or some sort of loud, super loud horn. Like if they don't see you, you want to alert them. Hey, I'm right here. Don't hit me. If you're riding on the bike trail, somebody is not paying attention in front of you and you want to get around them, you could yell at them, hey, on your left, I'm coming around, or I use a little <laughs> bell. But so these are ways to be safe when you're uh, out on the road or on the bike trail. You always want to be paying attention. Also, did you know another way to be safe? My wife uses this uh, on her helmet. It's the Debrim visor to keep the sun out of your eye. It's bright, it goes on your helmet like this, and then uh, it can be seen from behind and it also keeps the sun off your eyeballs so that you don't get a lot of, lot of sun and sunburn and stuff like that. And the next thing is you wanna get a great visible shirt, like a bright green shirt. You could use bright yellow, bright red, something that is bright will help out a lot. And it mainly helps for cars coming towards you because you have the seat on behind you. What's gonna help you from behind is gonna be your flag and your bright blinky. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go outside and see how these different safety accessories work and also how just to ride safe on the road works. So I wanna show you how to ride safely next to a car. So this is an SUV next to me here. Now it's not a sedan that's gonna be a little lower. This is, you know, there's a lot of SUVs out there on the road. And so I can see the, the window and as long as I can see the person in the window, we're good there but you also want to take your flags because your flags are going to be higher than you. And look at this, how high this one is here. And then this one here, if I went with a lower height one, 
which all you have to do is change the stems. This one, we actually cut it down to make it not so high, but you could have one flag or two flags dep depending on how much you write on the road. I usually just use one flag and they could see me really well because this is gonna wave in, in the wind. And when I come to a stop, they're gonna be able to see the flag. They're gonna be able to see the top of my little bald head here and uh, it's gonna be all good. Trikes are, are nice and safe when you come up to a car because that's a common question. They're all, since I'm not as high as a regular bike, you know, which is gonna be a little higher, can I be seen? With a flag, yes. As you see me right in way, you could see that the flags are waving in the wind and that's what you want when you're riding down the road. And also a nice rear bright blinky works very well too in conjunction with the flag. I think those are the main things about when you're riding is to be a defensive rider, have the right equipment. Your trike is more visible than a, than a bike because it's a little wider and with the flag, you're gonna be seen a lot more than a bike. Those are the ways you be safe on the trail. Hey, and also make sure to watch one of these videos on how to be safe with accessories.